Hi, my name is Mark Cruz, and today I'm going to talk about Nikon's newest DX camera, the D7500. This is a great camera for the photo enthusiast who loves the idea of getting the image quality and video quality of a D500, but would like it in a smaller and more compact form. Let's just take a look at where the D7500 fits within Nikon's DX lineup. Currently, we have the D3400 for our entry-level users. Next is the D5600, which has some higher-end features, all while being packaged with a large and comfortable grip, but a small form factor. The D7200 is in a weather-sealed body that has a better autofocus system and more physical buttons, making it easier and quicker to change settings. Next is the new D7500, which, as you'll see, combines many of the best features from both the D7200 and the D500. And at the top of the DX lineup is the D500, providing the best of autofocus, low light image quality, and much more. So let's start with some of the features that the D7500 has borrowed from the D500. The image processor and sensor are the same. This means that you're getting the perfect balance between resolution and high ISO quality thanks to the Xpeed 5 processor and the 20.9 megapixel DX sensor. Even the ISO range is the same, going from 100 to 51,200, letting the camera capture great looking images even in low light. It also uses the same 180,000 pixel RGB metering sensor, which ensures that not only are their exposures always right, but that the autofocus tracking capability of the D7500 is highly accurate, especially when detecting human faces through the viewfinder. It also has a tilting and touch sensitive 3.2 inch LCD screen. Similar to the D500's tilting screen, this 922K dot resolution screen even has a slightly slimmer profile. The D7500 uses the same pixel for pixel readout method to record the 4K UHD video and also has the ability to output a clean, uncompressed HDMI signal to an external recording device. In a first for Nikon DSLRs, the D7500 can change its video file format between MOV and MP4 depending on the playback environment you plan on viewing it in, such as an editing suite on your computer or viewing it on your mobile device. Lastly, the D7500 shares SnapBridge compatibility with the D500. With Bluetooth and Wi-Fi support, the D7500 makes sure you can easily share and control the camera with any compatible iOS or Android device. The D7500 shares one important spec from the D7200, and that's the autofocus system. On the face of it, it uses the same 51-point AF system with 15 cross-type sensors, but thanks to the new Xpeed 5 processor and more advanced metering sensor, the D7500 is not only more responsive, but offers more accurate tracking. Most users will primarily shoot by looking through the viewfinder but anyone using the LCD screen to shoot stills or videos will also notice that the contrast detect focusing time has been significantly shortened. As you can see, the new D7500 shares many more specs with the D500 than with the D7200, but it actually has some completely unique traits as well. Its continuous drive mode is a blazing 8 frames per second. That in itself is impressive, but the fact that you can shoot 50 14-bit RAW files before the buffer begins to slow down is even better. With the release of the D5 and D500, Nikon announced their radio-controlled speed light, the SB5000. The D7500 now joins those cameras in being able to radio trigger that speed light when used with the WRR10 adapter. That means you can trigger the SB5000 over 100 feet away regardless of obstacles or ambient light levels. And with the built-in pop-up flash and the WRR10 adapter, you can simultaneously trigger optical Nikon speed lights along with the new radio speed light. If you've ever been traveling and you want to share your adventures with friends and family back home, but don't want to edit for hours on a computer, then all Nikon DSLRs have the ability to process your RAW file in camera. What's new with the D7500 is the ability to batch process these files, saving you time since you no longer need to go through them one by one. Using a similar carbon fiber monocoque design as the D500, the D7500 offers a deep and comfortable grip while being smaller and lighter than both the D500 and the D7200. So, when you first look at the D7500, it may seem like just a smaller version of the D7200, while it actually shares 
many more features with the higher-end D500. Since all three cameras will be current in Nikon's lineup, you have to ask yourself which will work best for your needs. I have a feeling that the D7500 is going to hit the sweet spot for many people out there thanks to its 4K UHD video capabilities, fast autofocus response time, and the 8 frames per second continuous shooting. Now, if you want to find out more information on the D7500, please check out Nikon.ca.